hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geobasic empire backstar boxing now nah, man keith thurman talks about his comeback fight with host Cito lopez this weekend and he talks about basically getting rounds in and lopez boxing him but you know he said he's seen a lot of holes in Josecito Lopez, and that eventually he'll be trying to stop Lopez later in the fight, man. Now this is a really big deal, man. This fight, there's a lot of buzz around it. Um, my boy Sean Porter is gonna be fighting Usa Ugas in that fight as well, so he'll be fighting and he's gonna want to make a statement as well. They're really both gonna want to knock out in this fight. And um, Keith Thurman is basically talking about fighting Sean Porter after this fight, man. He Thurman basically said how he's gonna beat Jose Lopez and how, how Ugas and Sean Porter are going to have a tough fight, but he expects Sean Porter to win, man. Very respectful. Now, if you guys want to watch um, an interview where they talk about the whole thing, really good stuff. It's by Fox, R really good um, you know, network, whatever. Uh, PPC on Fox, right? I'll link it in the description. You guys watch it yourself, but it's a really cool interview, man. Um, it had, but it has both fighters, Sean Porter and Keith Thurman on there, talking about their fighters and talking about their possible fight after this. Not only that, man, this fight's going to have Danny Garcia host the event. He's going to be one of the commentators talking about both these fighters. You know, Danny Garcia has fought both Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. So this is a really big deal, man. You know, um, maybe Danny Garcia in hindsight can be more specific on how these fighters, uh, what they can do basically to exploit Sean Porter and Keith Thurman's weaknesses, you know. Now, I thought that, Keith Thur uh, that Danny Garcia, when he fought Keith Thurman, he probably didn't go to the body enough in that fight. You know, we, everyone knows that Keith Thurman has, you know, a suspect body. <laughs> you know, when, when you hit him in the stomach, it's almost like he's getting hit in the chin because he completely stops. You know, he basically stops boxing. And then at that point, it starts moving really quickly because he's hurt. You know, um, one prime example is the is the fight with Luis Colazzo when uh, Keith Thurman got hit one time and stopped. Um, there was even a moment in the Sean Porter fight where Keith, Sean Porter hit Keith Thurman two times in the body with some okay shots, but it really hurt Keith Thurman. So Keith Thurman is definitely known to not have like the best body in boxing. Um, you, you hit him, he has a weak core, and that's really it's crazy. He has a really weak core. That's that's, that's how you beat a lot of power punches, though. You you hit their body, they can't generate all that torque and the, their power anymore, and they basically stop you know moving. So Danny Garcia is going to have some really interesting perspective. In, in the Sean Porter Keith Thurman fight, and back to the uh, Sean Porter fight, I'm not sure what Danny, how Danny is gonna. Um, I'm really interested in, in what Danny is gonna say on Ugas, how he's gonna win the fight because Sean Porter wasn't a really elusive fighter when he fought Danny Garcia the first time. He, you know, he boxed when he wants to box, and he was aggressive when he wants to be aggressive. So, you know, um, the thing with Sean Porter is he's a lot more, in my opinion, he's a lot more harder fighter to fight because he can just switch the pacing up in his fight and turn into a whole other fighter. You know, one second he's a boxer, next second he's like a volume puncher just going crazy and wild, you know. So, you know, Sean Porter is a very hard fighter to really fight because when he wants to box, he can box. And when he wants to be aggressive, he'll be aggressive. And not only will he be aggressive, but he'll be throwing a lot of punch, punches. And there'll be punches you really can't predict because, you know, everyone talks about how, you know, Sean Porter, he'll but he basically rush you with like wide punches and he'll rush you so much. Eventually, he will have it to you at least once. You know, um, there's times where he'd be like right in front of you and he'd be throwing these looping punches, hitting your back. You know, if you guys watch the uh, Sean Porter Keith Thurman fight, you know, there's a lot of times where, you know, Keith Thurman had like scratches on his back because Sean Porter would be right in front of Keith Thurman. They'd basically be like right on each other. And then Sean Porter would just throw these looping shots and be hitting <laughs> Keith Thurman in his back or whatever while Keith Thurman's dodging. So this is really hard to predict what Sean Porter's going to do next. But I'm really sad to see his fight, man. You know, this is a slept on event. You know, Keith Thurman and Sean Porter is coming back. And in my opinion, Josecito Lopez is not not a tune-up fight at all, man. He's he's not a tune-up fight at all. So this is a hard fight for Keith Thurman on his first fight fight. So the next guys feel about it though, man. You know, I think this is gonna be a wonderful fight. I really want to see Sean Porter and Keith Thurman fight again. That was fireworks the first time. But let me know how you guys feel about it though, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.